What is up, my horror peeps? It is Doogie, and you are watching Doogie's Horror Den. I am the gatekeeper, the key master, the overlord, if you will, of the horror den. And it is almost, almost Thanksgiving already. This year is flying by, and um, I got two reviews for you. Before we get into those reviews, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And tell me, what are some of your favorite holiday-themed movies? Like, I know last year, I watched uh, Black Friday, which was a great, great horror comedy with uh, Bruce Campbell, Michael J. White, and Devin Sawa. That was great. And I think the year before that, I watched the movie Pilgrim, which was total chaos and insanity from beginning to end. And uh, this year is that movie Thanksgiving, which I haven't seen yet. But as soon as I do, I will review it here. Um, but before I go any further, I do have to, uh, be serious for, for one second. And, uh, just to let you know that a member of the, the Horror Den has, uh, has passed on. And, uh, so I would like to take this one second time out to, uh, to pay homage to, uh, Michael Myers. He doesn't bobble anymore. Oh, maybe if I hold him like that. Oh, okay, he can still. <laughs> yes, Michael has collapsed. And he almost went through the shredder. If I had a shredder, but... You see, he's lost a foot. His head, obviously. You know, and his little stand is just there. It's... He's gone. No more. You will live in our hearts forever, Michael. Or until I just, you know, get another one. Don't look at me that way. So, anyway. All right, let's get right into these reviews. The first review will leave you cold. That was horrible. <laughs> this movie came out in 2020, uh, directed by Brendan Walsh, and it's about this couple, uh, this man and his pregnant wife, who are driving between towns in Norway, and it's not really explained, but all of a sudden they wake up and there's, they're off the road just a little bit, and the cover, the, the car is covered with snow and ice and they're freaking out and they can't get out. I don't know. See, this is the problem I have with that. Okay, this movie for me, from beginning to end, I just couldn't relate to. I did not like. I didn't care what the hell happened to these characters. They tried. They tried. They tried to make us care to the point where they're like, let's have this woman pregnant and she'll give birth inside the car. So this is the thing. They apparently didn't want to break out of the car and walk. Don't know why. Plow came through, and they actually could see, like, the light of the plow through the snow. So they weren't that far away from the plow. You know, he plowed snow on the car. Okay. Um, so if there's plows coming through, just get on the road and walk. And... I don't know, because, like, this whole movie, it just seemed like they were stretching it. They're, they tried to tell a story, and it just wasn't wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Like, this is probably, like, one of the worst movies that I've seen this year. Um, and then the husband dies for no apparent reason in the car. And then she takes his clothes. She gives birth to the kid in the car. And then she puts, she decides, okay, I'm just going to get out of the car. Like, why didn't you do that days ago? And she gets out of the car. She has the kid in her little backpack. So, the, you know, the kid's all bundled up. And she's walking down the road, the snowy road. And then she just turns and decides to walk off the road. And then, poof, there's a house with people in it. So it's like, yeah, uh... You could have done this in the beginning of the movie. The husband couldn't have died. I know it's based off of a real story. I mean, the real story was just a guy who got, who 
you know, got into a car crash off the road and he was stranded and they found him and pulled him out alive. So they made it a couple, one's pregnant, and then the guy dies. Like, what the hell of sense does that make? I don't know. Centigrade is very low for me. Very cold movie. Didn't like it. I don't, I don't want you to watch it, but... If you do, hey, you let me know what you think. You may have a different opinion than me, and that's okay. But Centigrade gets an M for me. I am never, ever going to tell anybody to watch this movie, and I'm never, ever going to watch it again. If it's on TV, I will turn it off. And I, since I've been doing this show, I haven't had a worst of at the end of the year. I always do my best of. So this is the first year I'm going to also do a worst of, and this one's going to be on it. I'm telling you. Sign it right now. Centigrade M. Pass it by. So, on to my next movie, which better be better than Centigrade. This is a movie that came out in 2022. Right now, it is on Hulu. And it's directed by John Leonetti. It is about a couple who have a newborn baby. And they read off of this very old book. And what it does is it summons a demon to come take the baby away. This movie is called Lullaby. Um, stars Una Chaplin and uh, Ramon Rodriguez. <clears throat> uh, this movie, um, a step up from Centigrade. Uh, this had some... some Good jump scares. The CGI a little bit was a little wonky a little bit when they had like the, the child morph and there's like babies like together and shit. Very strange. Uh, <laughs> um, but it was, def it was definitely... Okay, let me put it this way. When I watched uh, Boogeyman, I expected a lot more. And Boogeyman, I just flat out didn't like. I liked Lullaby more than Boogeyman. So... Uh, I won't tell you what happens in the end. Um, I didn't expect the ending. That that kind of uh, threw me for a loop. So I was happy about the ending. Um, but, you know, I don't know if it was ever popular enough to warrant a sequel or if they're planning on a sequel. I have no idea. But they left it open so they could explore it more and possibly do a sequel. Um, so for me, uh, Lullaby is a MD. Uh, it's uh, definitely, you know, worth a watch, you know, um, check it out, you know, anything that has to do with, with like kids and being, you know, and, and ghosts and demons. I mean, that's, that's pretty intriguing to me because, you know, you don't see kids, or at least infants anyway, like that involved in, a, in horror movies that much. And when you do, you're like, okay, well, what's going to happen, you know? So. This is my thing here. M, bad. Bad, centigrade. Horrible. Terrific. Then MD, murder, death for lullaby. Um, shall we sing a lullaby for Michael Myers? No, that's it. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you for uh, hanging out with me with this uh this show i'll be back very very soon have a very happy and horrific thanksgiving and uh, i will talk to you soon keep michael in your thoughts oh before i go watch a horror movie what's it gonna do scare you make your head fall off <laughs>